Hello everyone and welcome to Tax Shorts. My name is Aisha Bedwe Ibe. I'm the tax leader here at PwC Ghana and today I'm joined by my colleague Lorna Ondu, who's a senior associate in our indirect tax business in PwC. And today we are discussing part two of the AFCFTA or the Africa Free Trade Continental Agreement. Welcome. So Lorna, it's great to meet again to discuss the AFCFTA. Um, obviously, this first discussion, we had to go into further detail, hence mm -hmm. us being here today. So today, I want us to delve into the practical ways that we can trade under AFCFTA. Mm -hmm. So over to you. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me once again, Aisha. Uh, I think the first bit would be arm yourself with the right set of information regarding trading under the AFCFTA and also know what are the required, the minimum require, requirements for trade under the agreement. So for starters, I would direct our listeners and traders who are interested in taking advantage of the FCFTA to use the FCFTA website. Mm. This is an up-to-date platform that has reliable information and it also helps you know what are some of the operational instruments that are already live. Um, in the website, you can also find uh, which are the member states who have already ratified. That tells you you can actually trade in a particular country. Mm. Um, secondly, um, they are the national coordination offices. So these are institutions that work closely with the FCFTA Secretariat. They are able to disseminate relevant information um, from the Secretariat down to the traders. So they are able to give you practical steps in how to be able to um, trade under the agreement. Mm. Um, the national coordination offices also closely interact with the private sector, um, your chambers of commerce, the industry groups in your um, respective countries so they'll be able to have the information that can guide traders to start trading under the agreement okay yeah. so what are some of the the tools operational tools and documents yeah. that traders or potential traders can actually use or utilize yes actually to be able to trade you there are some minimum requirements okay. and tools that one is expected to have so under the FCFTA, we already have the e-tariff book that mm -hmm. is live and this book can be found under the FCFTA website so it has consolidated the um, tariff concessions. So it tells you what rate your product will be attracting, what tariff will it be attracting, even as the FCFT gradually reduces the rates in, in 10 years to come. So this actually provides certainty because both the trader and the customs authority know what rate will be applicable to their goods. Right. Um, another um, operational tool is the rules of origin manual. Before you actually enjoy the preferential tariff rate, um, we need to confirm that your goods have actually conf been conferred the origin status coming from an African state parties. Mm. There are other digital tools that we can also talk about and one to highlight is the Pan-African payment system. So this tool was launched early in 2022. So it allows traders to be able to make payments and also suppliers to receive payments in their local currency. So I think it's a very good tool that traders can take advantage of. Um, we can also talk about the non-tariff barrier portal for the AFCFTA. We can acknowledge that in as much as the AFCFTA is looking to reduce the tariff hindrance to trade, there are non-tariff barriers that exist. So they could be physical, for example, poor infrastructure, or they could be administrative, like maybe you're dealing with um, difficult revenue authorities. So this portal, you can go in and put in any challenge that you're experiencing um, when you want to trade under the AFCFTA. All right, that's a lot of useful information yeah. that traders can actually tap into. Mm -hmm. So any maybe last parting thoughts or recommendations for our viewers? Yes, yes, Aisha. Thank you. Um, in October 2022, which is um, a couple of months back, um, the AFCFTA Secretariat launched the Guided Trade Initiative. And the Guided Trade Initiative, eight um, state parties were able to come together and mm -hmm. trade with one another under the AFCFTA. So the guided trade initiatives goes to show um, it's, a, it's a proof of concept. It confirms that the AFCFTA um, trading under the agreement is actually operational. So you find um, a country like Ghana where we are in, we're able to send ceramic tiles under the AFCFTA to Cameroon. Um, in the same light, Kenya was able to send tea from Mombasa to um, Ghana under the AFCFTA. Fantastic. So this is to tell our viewers that yes, the agreement is, is live and as we've, we've told you, there are institutions who are ready to help you take advantage of that. And of course, you can always reach out to your professional advisors, be it your tax consultants or your legal advisors, and they'll be able to help you plug into the AFCFTA. 
Great. Um, it's just, again, reiterating the, the target of the Africa that we want of and course. seeing African countries trade with each other is definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah, Thank you very much, Lorna, for that. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I hope it's been informative for you as it has been for us. Mm -hmm. My name is Aisha Bedwe Ibe. I'm the tax leader here at PwC Ghana. I was joined by my colleague Lona Ondu, who's a senior associate in our indirect tax services unit. And today we're talking about the AFCFTA, and it was our second conversation where we went into more detail on practical tools and steps to access the agreement. Thank you very much for joining us and for watching. God bless. See you next time.